Stavros. Good morning and welcome to the Icon Exhibition Centre here in Lisburn in Northern Ireland. I'm here for Dubshed 2018. So all the cars are queuing up at the moment to go inside and go on display. And <laughs> promises to be a great show. It just gets better and better each year I come. But uh, yeah, we'll take a look at these guys pulling in and then we'll go in and see what this show is all about. I've never seen wheels like those before on the Volkswagen Scirocco. They are very unusual. Pretty cool. Okay, it's time for me to go inside now and watch all these guys preparing. Six thirty-five CSI over there. Ooh, he's way, way down. And we have these guys here preparing as well. <laughs> Fair play, boys. Get her nice and clean before it goes in. And this is Lucinda, the Lupo, the Volkswagen Lupo. Check out those four spot lamps at the front and the alloy wheels with the Stuttgart center caps. But uh, yeah, no back seats. We have a roll cage in the back. So the power to weight ratio will be very good on this Volkswagen Lupo. <laughs> Looking good. Nice color on the Nissan Silvia and the very unusual number plates. There you have it. So it's not all German brand cars at this show. There are plenty of Japanese cars as well. you can get much lower than this Seat Cupra um, check that out guys uh, can you get any lower than that I don't think so <laughs> that is just wicked go on, go on. <laughs> no seat the seats in the car that is a big wing on the back of that Scirocco check that out Woo. Oh, it's on bags too. <laughs> Very good. So they have four washes going here at the moment. So you shouldn't have to wait too long to get your car washed and have it looking gleaming for the show. Yeah. No front number plate, no front number plate, no back number plate, and no back number plate. <laughs> yeah, awful situation up here with number plates falling off cars. Yep. ILB TV, check them out on YouTube. Subscribe, like, share. <laughs> <laughs> do all that fun stuff. Yes. Nice. OILB TV. That's it, yeah. Very good, guys. See you later. I'll see you next year. <laughs> next year in Monaco, yeah? I'm sure, I'll see you about here. Top as well. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thanks. Just look at this Porsche 911 here. It is so low to the ground. Yeah, I don't think they get much lower than that. Um, check out the BBS. Wow. The alloys looking incredible. Let's have a peek inside here. Oh, the bucket seats and the racing harnesses. <laughs> yeah, I really like that. That is pretty cool. I have to get me one of these. Look at this. Look at this contraption here, boys. <laughs> That's pretty sophisticated, all right. Yeah, I don't think they'd let you walk around the casino square in Monaco with that. <laughs> Yeah, we're doing a bit of late preparation here at Dubshed on the 1984 525i. So we've got a pretty cool Hillman Imp over there. 
and we also have one over here sitting very low <laughs> on the ILB Drivers Club stand check out the BMW 520d with the M Sport package and it's on coilovers so they are not airbags that is the standard stance of the car so getting over speed bumps is going to be a bit tricky on that yeah sort of reminds me of the 520d that i bought i don't think so so the civic boys are in the house we have an ek4 honda civic the jordan edition so uh and down at the back there we have the ep1 honda civic so so the japanese cars are well represented today that's great to see it boys Shout out to Northeast Modified with their fabulous looking Audi A5. Check out the red engine bay and also the customized interior. All oh, the red leather. <laughs> that looks nice. And the A pillars there and the roof lining. All red. And the rear. Yeah, I like the work they've done on this. And just check out the boot. Look at this. <laughs> That's a nice piece of work all by northeast modified check this out guys we have this 1974 porsche carrera 2.7 s and you'll notice the number plate there it is from the isle of man so over in the isle of man the road tax is 12 pound per year but here in northern ireland if this car was registered here it would be free road tax and of course down south they look for 56 euro yeah and your Volkswagen Beetle Cabriolet, how you doing? <laughs> Ooh, the 1303S, 1979. And look, we have an NS man from County Clare here with Minty Gora. So we have a Golf Mark V, wasn't it? Or <laughs> Mark IV at the front. And yeah, it's a Volkswagen Bora with a Golf front. Hence the name Gora. So what do you guys think of the wrap on this Nissan Silvia? So the owner actually wrapped it himself. He went to a wrapping course and decided to wrap his own car. So uh, yeah, he must have saved himself about a thousand pounds by doing that. Check out all the little racing cars. Look at this. <laughs> God, these guys are good at these. Whoa. So this is what the cars look like underneath. These are very fast out on the track. So Harry, these cars can go up to 90 miles per hour. Yeah, some of them can do if you have them tuned right. <laughs> very fast. But they're hard to control. And, <laughs> and the tires are 27 pound um, each you said yeah roughly um, yeah but you can get them different compounds like m are softs at the minute so right. they're give you more grip especially out there and yeah it's very important there because of the, the, the jumps and how <laughs> you say there's not there's how you start the car but if you're over here you just go oh yeah yeah oh very good very good yeah just drop her and <laughs> shell hold oh class so we've got a model helicopter here and model airplanes. So yeah, if you're into your model airplanes, maybe you should bring them up to Dubshed to fly them. And one of the model airplanes flying there. So they're doing passenger laps in the Subaru. And they're also doing them in a Mazda MX-5. 
So a fiver for one lap or a tenner for two laps. I'm gonna give it a miss, the passenger ride in the Subaru because the queue is too long. So forget about that. And I also don't see the scrap the Jap feature. So that seems to be gone this year. Maybe because of the discrimination against Japanese cars. It's rampant, rampant discrimination. <laughs> That's a very wide looking three series. She is indeed, yeah. <laughs> what sort of kid is that? Craig, what Li Liberty right? Walk. What kid is that kid there? It's a Liberty Walk, is it? That's a Liberty Walk. <laughs> Oh, that's a Liberty Walk. That's a Liberty Walk, and this is a Pandan. Pandan. Yeah, so if you want a Pandan body kit, there you go. Or if you want a Liberty Walk, go for this 3 Series. <laughs> you want to talk about a music system? Look at the system in the back of this van. What the hell is that in the back of this Volkswagen Transporter? That is uh, quite a powerful unit. And we have the Nissan, the 350Z pulling in there. But if I swing over here, guys, check out this camper van, the Volkswagen from 1967. This is just a fantastic piece of work. Look at the windscreen there, the way it pops out. And we'll just have a quick look at the interior. because This has just some amount of work done to it. Check out the dashboard. Wow, that is just really, really cool. And of course, the values of these are just going up and up on your classic Volkswagen camper van. Let's just have a quick look at the back. Now, it does have a 1.6 litre petrol engine. So the owner says it's still driving quite well. And of course, the engine is in the back there. But that is your Volkswagen camper van. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is a Skoda. Um, yes, it just has a different front on it the Volkswagen front. What do you guys think of this Volkswagen slash Skoda pickup? here out into the car park the music inside in the building is just way too loud or else I'm just getting too old but uh, that is the queue waiting to get in so uh, I had no idea until I came out here just how big the queue is to get in but this is the outside car park and look at this we have this fabulous mark 1 golf and over here we have an Audi R8 so this is, as far as I know, the only Audi R8 here at the show. But uh, yeah, they look class. Just have a quick look inside. Oh yes. <laughs> nice. Ah, uh, the V10. So uh, yeah, the Quattro. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a spin on one of those guys. And there we have the Mark II Golf GTI. So check out the electric convertible roof on this 1989 Volkswagen Golf GTI. So I think this is possibly the only Golf GTI convertible of this year at the whole show. But uh, yeah, it still needs a lot of work done, Mark, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, needs to be painted up and... Uh, yeah, so Mark was a long time looking for this car, but he found one and he'll be working on this now for a while to get it up to showroom condition. <laughs> okay, boys, if you want to buy a 2012 Volkswagen Passat CC with a full service history and recently been serviced and it has a timing belt, air ride suspension and it has 117,000 miles and it is for sale for seven and a half grand. So uh, ring that number if you're interested in this Passat CC with the air ride suspension. And 
we have these boys over oh, here as well. So w one of these boys shot. would be very interested in buying this Passat CC, yeah? Oh, well, they were looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so check out the car park here. We have a lineup of Ford Fiestas. And look at this black one here. Hmm? With the arches really low down to the ground. Check them out. Going for a closer look. And also on the back. Just look at that. <laughs> I've never seen a Ford Fiesta as low as that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so we've got the German police here with the Skoda Estate. Developing 500 horsepower, yeah? At least, at least 500. <laughs> and we have another car for sale here, the Volkswagen Beetle, the GSR. From what year? What year is it? 2014. And it's for sale for £12,750. Although it could be negotiable, yes? <laughs> if you want to put in an offer. And only a hundred of these came to the UK. Yeah, so pretty rare enough sight, guys. If you, uh, oh, 24,000 miles from new, so yeah, ring that number if you're interested in this Volkswagen Beetle GSR uh, 2014. Yeah, yeah, so I spotted a boxy starlet here. Is this the only Toyota at the show? Uh, this is the only Toyota I have spotted at the whole show, guys. Would you believe that? A boxy starlet from 1990, and it's got a Limerick registration on it. There you go. Sorry guys, I was wrong. There's a second Toyota here, the GT86. Yeah, so uh, I, I missed this one. But there you have it. Looking very nice with those wheels. Yep. So this is what you do when you can't fit your engine into your Volkswagen Beetle. Look at this, we've got a Rover V8 in the back of this Beetle. <laughs> that is just wicked. Let's just have a quick look inside. And you can see it's all kind of rusted up looking. Um, all the green and on the roof. And we have all the carpet on the floor. Look at the gear stick. <laughs> yeah, so this is pretty cool. But that camper van, that camper van, I love that. That, I want to see that winning some sort of prize. Now the owner did tell me it came 20th last year. But I think it should rank higher than 20th at this year's car show, definitely. This camper van, I love it. So that's where I'm going to leave you today from Dubshed 2018. The rain is coming down and things are getting very, very wet here. So yeah, I do hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll talk to you all again next weekend for another video. So until then, take care and thanks for watching. Cheers. Check out this E-Class. What is he doing parked out in the car park? He should be in at the show. <laughs> Look at the colour on that. That is very unusual. What the hell is that car? I have no idea what sort of car that is. <laughs>